So, break off already. We'll give it some welly this time. I mean, we could go 60. Whoa, oh, 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 shit, shit. Um, power off. Ah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome to Derail Valley Simulator. Let's start about it and see what it's all about, shall we? Let's get on to career mode. And we'll do the tutorial and we'll see what it's all about. It's recently been updated, so is it good or is it bad? And hopefully we'll have a full series. Well, I've played it before. I know it's good. So, <laughs> so we'll get right into it. We'll do the tutorial and maybe we'll do a mission as well on this episode. We're going to go on to hard mode, so we'll have to figure out where we are and everything ourselves. But that'll be after the tutorial. We've got to get a license first. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Right, dash, yes. Uh, figured that out already. There we go. Comes. And we can put it down by V. V. There we go. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Pick up the booklet. Uh, flip the pages. Awesome. And we could be more precise, apparently. Bring things down. There we go. You can. S oh, I didn't actually know that. But you can flip pages there. Let's store it though. Tab. Tab. Uh, we want the. Okay. Make any difference. Put it on the floor for some reason. Open the inventory with caps lock. Yeah. Oh, open the inventory with caps lock. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, that button. That button. There we go. Right, let's drive the train. Woohoo! You can jump with space. Good to know. Hang on. I figured out a lean. Uh, that should go in the hard way. And I can sit here. Sit. And alt to look around. Let's come out of sit mode because I don't sit. I stand when I'm driving this thing. <laughs> uh, you can operate using alt between alt and alt. All oh, right, yeah. And switch between them anytime. I see. Yeah, that's fine. Enable all the electrics. I heard a buzz then. Uh, dash light. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. Cab light there, optional obviously. Wipers. Noises help. <laughs> Lights. Uh, front, okay. And back. There is no obvious way to see, but we've done it. Um, I would have thought. Start the engine. Uh, main reservoir and brake pipes, okay. Yep, we know about the throttle.
Yeah. See that. See that. Independent break. Oops. Yep, can see that. Put it into forward. We'll take the handbrake off. That's a new addition. Sander will play with briefly. All brakes off. Are we in forward? Yep. Drive the locomotive to there. We'll go slowly because I really don't think, since it's not that far, we want to go fast. It's got a good sounding engine. Yeah, um, we'll apply the brakes when we're nearly there. I th think we need to pass that. The speed we're going 10 kilometers. Right mouse button, by the way, is zooming in. We're not going to have a major issue. I want to pass that. Right, slam it on. Slam it on. Wonderful. Let's go and do some maintenance work. How close were we? Ah, we had bags of room. Bags of room. Take your Cobbs radio. And switch the thing, yeah. Makes sense. There we go. What now then? Uh, derailed car in the shed. Oh. Mouse wheel, left mouse button, and confirm. Awesome. I'm doing this relatively quick, I know. Um, bring the locomotive to the car. Awesome. Um, let's put that back to switch, because I bet we're going to need it. Whoops. I'm opening this door too. <laughs> uh, so, let's remember this. Break off, put into reverse. You can hear the wind, the air coming out. And slowly back it in. I think 15 ish for now will be fine. We'll slow it down when we get nearer. Like now. I don't want to hit it too hard. That'll do. That'll go to about five, maybe. Nope, we're going a bit too slow. I don't like to connect at less, more than five. Because I know it could cause damage if it was too fast. Right, couplers. Control to crouch. I know I'm going through this quite quickly. This bit, but I want to get into the main game <laughs> and hopefully do another episode. Oops. Now we want that fastened. We want that open and we want that open. That's if we've got multiple locomotives. We don't have that yet. Great job. Whoop. Great into a wall. <laughs> and we have everything we've learned. Yay! We've got a license. I'm leaving it here, though. <sighs> uh, oh, more licenses. Uh... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, we've got a key for the locker. It's inside the locker. We'll add all this to our bag. Oh, money! Compass. That could be useful for hard mode. Take out your wallet. Five, there we go. World map. We've got a little arrow at the moment where we are. That's because we're on normal because of the tutorial. Uh, we can alt and we can move around. Yep, yeah, awesome. As a train driver, you are now ready to drive this train to the nearby steel mill service point. Okay, awesome. 
Um, let's put our map away and get ready. Release the handbrake. That's a good idea, isn't it? Uh, there we go. And let's get in the locomotive. Uh, drive the couple train to the tutorial area towards the steel mill. So game has been saved at this break point. Off already. We'll give it some welling this time. I mean, we could go 60. Whoa, oh, 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 shit, shit. Um, power off. Ah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's try that again, shall we? I think you all have noticed what I've done. So we need to fix it. There we go. That'll that be enough. There we go. I hope I didn't. Hundred percent vehicle. Good. Cause I hit that. <laughs> and hundred percent. Okay. We haven't damaged anything. Good. 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 Every break is off. We've swapped the tracks. Yes. I'm triple checking that now. <laughs> I'm glad I hadn't given it too much while at that point. It's with us at least. Got to keep an eye on these dials as well. Whoop. We picked up some speed, release the throttle completely, coasting this way down the... Okay, yep. Yeah. What do you reckon? 40, I think? I think 40 will be alright for this. I know the speed limit's 60. Well, how about 45? Don't go too fast, it's saying, so let's not go too fast. Uh, to a halt. I'm going to slam it on because I am going a bit fast maybe. And I'm going to throw that just there because I bet I need to change that. Oh, that was just in time. That was a long train. I might have had a problem. Take out the schematics and go to this SM. Hang on. Hang on. There we are. So... See the service point? Well, we're not quite there yet. Yeah, okay, service point. Uh, here. Okay. Press F2 to switch to external view. Hey, we can... That's going to be useful for seeing around us. Uh, for that, can we control it here? Can we use these? Or is that just an overview? Oh. We can seem to use them. That could be interesting as well. I'm not sure if we'll have that on hard mode though. Uh, middle mouse button. To just view if need be, okay. Yeah, we want it that way. I thought we'd done that, but okay. F1 back to first person. Release brakes, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll come out of alt. And drive forward slowly. And park the train into the service point. And we are going backwards, so let's get some power on. So slowly, I'm thinking 15, maybe 20, and slow it down nearer the time. I'm assuming all the rest of the station, all the points are actually 
correct for us. That one is. The next one is. The next one is. 20 seems slow, doesn't it, guys? Seems really slow. But a lot of the shunting work in hitting the yard, I have found is best to do relatively slow in the past, so I'm keeping with it for now. Because, you know, why not? It's not like we have a time on the tutorial either. So we've got to get in that shed, which we should be able to do relatively easily. Almost there, prepared to stop. I don't think we need to worry about stopping just yet, it's quite a long way away. Or maybe not as long as we think. Right, let's get some train brake on. Turn it off for a moment. Oh yes, lovely. We're crawling at five. That's pretty much what I wanted. We'll crawl it in until it's happy. I thought I'm happy at that. I hope the game is. Because we're passing these. Good job, the locomotive will stay here for servicing. Let's get another which you'll use to take new jobs. Awesome. So, I'm going to be a good boy and turn the engine off, which is fuel cut-off button there. It took me ages to find that. Because, you know, I'm going to leave... Oops. Okay, so I've got to get out of the shed. I can't just teleport to it. So, we want to line it up with the other DE2. Nope, wrong way. We'll do the best by hand, I feel. Oh, that's quite a lot way, a long way past. Lovely. Had the locomotive on here, so let's Go through the procedure. I do need the interior light because it's so dark. Uh, all brakes are off. That didn't start. Hold it a bit longer this time. <laughs> right, really slowly onto the turntable because we don't want to derail this so quickly. I know it's called derail, Valley, but that doesn't mean we want to. Stop about in the middle if I can. Good, good, good. Brakes, 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 brakes. Lovely, lovely. Uh, I'm going to spin it all the way around so that the front end is actually at the front end. Well, it depends which way we're going to go for the next one. On which way we wanted it. Uh, fantastic. Now, let's get into the station office. Okay. I like the green things on top. They used to be a pain in the ass to find. We've got some money. A hundred. Okay. We're going to use that to pay for the servicing. Go to pay, okay. Now select the D58. Firm pay. Insert wallet. And confirm. Insurance is being cleared. And we're going to go on to realistic. We really are. And that is the tutorial. 20 minutes. Ish. Let's. 
see about any jobs that we've got. If there's one nearby, we may take it. Otherwise, we may do it on another episode. Let it load, though, first. Hmm. So we've got our engine ready. Um, when you're ready, you can take your first delivery. Find one that you are licensed. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Okay, into there. Oh, we can sleep here. That's new. I like that. Because working in the dark can be quite interesting. Accept an order and follow the printed instructions. Complete it. We'll at least have a look at what we're able to do. Um, we could do some shunting, but not that. That's long too. That's a possibility. That's hazmat too. Uh, not even going to go into logistics hall at the moment. That's long one. I'm not going to get that license yet. We have other ones here. There's a job there. And there's a job there. That can be done. Uh, no reason why I can't do that. So that's three shunting. And that's long one. So these five jobs we could do. Uh, that's pretty good money. 21,000. 22 nearly. Plus bonus if we do it. Three pickups though. These are going to be quite long jobs, but we've got a lot of time to do with them in. They're not paying so well. Ooh, I am tempted with this one. But as a different episode. So I'll put that there for now. I am tempted with that because... The reason I'm saying it is because we've got... The... Wherever it is. There. Come on. Fast travel's not working very well now. So we've got this. Uh, I'm hoping, yes. Okay, handbrake is on. Good, good, good. So we've got this, and if we're going to be doing loading and unloading, from memory, oh my god. We need to be... Reversing it down. Is it this track? Yes, because we've got the loader unloader cargo transfer here. Which is all the way from here. My goodness. Fast travel is a lot slower. So three pickups, that's going to be quite some time. So I think we'll do that as another episode. But this is just a welcome into Derail Valley. We will continue and see what it's all like afterwards. And we will hopefully take things a lot further. A lot, lot further. So I will see you on the next episode.